how do you feel about businesses jumping on board with all the gay, trans, lesbian marketing during Pride Month just to increase their social credit score? Hmm. So businesses are attempting to increase their social credit score by getting on board with Pride, trans, all of that stuff. Well, 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 look what we have here. Inside the CEI system pushing brands to endorse celebrities like Dylan Mulvaney, all right? Dylan Mulvaney is a man dressed like a woman and calls himself a woman, correct? Okay, I think they say that's trans. All right, further, executives at companies like Nike, Anheuser-Busch, and Kate Spade, whose brand endorsements have turned controversial trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney into woke it girl are just virtual signaling. They are handing out lucrative deals to what were once considered fringe celebrities because they have to, wow, or risk failing an all important social credit score that could make or break their businesses. At stake is their Corporate Equality Index or CEI score, which is overseen by the Human Rights Campaign and the largest LGBTQ plus political lobbying group in the world. Fascinating. They received millions from George Soros, Open Society Foundation. Interesting. Allegedly, he's something like the devil, right? Allegedly. Okay, so I went over to the Humans right, Human Rights Campaign Fund's website. They have what's called Human Rights Day Celebration. And it's, it's a holiday right it's called human rights day it's a celebration of progress for the lgbtq community yo what come on man human rights day why don't they say gay rights day or lgbtq plus rights day that's not human rights day i guess those people are technically human right but what about heterosexual people man so we're getting this agenda because this is clearly the agenda shoved down our throats and businesses are now feeling they have to they have to throw bags at these people to show inclusiveness of a an alternative lifestyle it's really interesting that this says i'm reading through the site it says a trans as a transgender i mean we should change that from as a person with mental illness. Listen, if I come and tell you that I'm Michael, I'm Robert, I'm Jesse, and I'm Malcolm, right? You'd say I have personality, what is it called? Multiple personality disorder. I have a mental illness. They probably try to give me treatment, some medication, some counseling, something. So if I come and say, you know what? I'm a guy. Now nah, I'm a girl. How about that? That should be classified as a mental illness as well, right? Multiple gender disorder, multiple gender dysphoria disorder, right? But anyway, it says a transgender or multiple gender dysphoria type person. They said that it reminds me of my responsibility to my community and motivates me to ensure that all trans slash multiple gender dysphoria or disorder people have all the same inclusive rights, including safety, freedom of speech, Access to education and healthcare, equal work opportunities, and a dignified life. Dignified life. All right, let's talk about two things. Let's talk about the dignified life part and the freedom of speech part, all right? So if there's a guy next to me dressed like a woman with breast implants that clearly looks like a guy, it's not dignified for me to treat him like a woman. It's weird. It's, it's bizarre. It's very uncomfortable for me, and I'm sure it'd be uncomfortable for anybody else in this area, right? Um, freedom of speech. People literally get canceled for speaking an adverse uh, position towards that movement, this huge, powerful movement. So where's the freedom of speech for everyone else? This is pretty ironic. This is bizarre. Yeah, and they're trying to go after like the president of Nigeria, and I think Uganda, because they had some pretty strict rules against this alternative lifestyle becoming so pervasive in their countries. And listen, you're not even in Nigeria or Uganda, right? Let these people run their countries the way they f 
find fit the way they see fit. And also, listen, I think it's very bizarre for this huge wave of, I think it's bizarre for a man to wanna, to say he wants to be a woman, and walk in women bathrooms or compete in female sports. So with that being so bizarre, you need a heavy counterbalance. So you need people like the Ugandan president uh, making real harsh laws, because if not, it's gonna be lopsided over here, right? I, and I hate that the, t the term woke is associated with this side because to be, to be woke, to, be, to not be sleep, to be aware is a very powerful thing, but that's not what this is. I don't know, I, I, the, the reason for it, I, it's hard to say. I think it's like a natural de degeneration of society, of culture. It happened in Kemet or Egypt happened in Greece and Rome, right? Babylon, like this happens. These great nations, I mean, the best nations, they fall, right? Sodom and Gomorrah, right? This nation is on a path to going through a dark age, you know? Just like they had in Europe, when people were godless, people were, you know, reverting to living like animals, you know? On all fours, God, divinity, holds people together with like morals, ethics, purity, you know, things like that. As we get more educated and more advanced, people get further and further away from God and you see what's happening, right? It's no prayer in school. You only have to call it prayer, call it meditation. It's none of that. Where's the morals at? Where, what are we standing on? You know, you can't leave things to people's devices because this is what happens. It's very unfortunate. But I do think there are, there will be a big pushback. I think it's brewing and it's gonna make some people uncomfortable. I can't lie. I guarantee it. Everyone's trying to be all inclusive, which is cool. I'm all about respecting everyone. I'm also not gonna not be logical and rational, right? And I'm gonna call a spade a spade. If you're a dude in a dress, you're a dude in a dress, in my opinion. And I'm gonna treat you as such, you know? And I think these people need help.